Hey, Brian from Garage Wall. Today I have a UB, I guess that's how you pronounce it, jump starter with air compressor. So let's open this up, take a look what we get inside the box. And then uh, on the other side of my studio, I like, it's like a whole car shop. So we'll be able to test it out and show you exactly how it works. So awesome, it comes in a carrying case, which I love. Anything that comes in a case is pretty awesome because it's like, you know, it's like easy to store. It's easier to put somewhere, put out of the way. Okay, so right away it's got two compartments and it comes with a, uh, a little needle valve to inflate like football, soccer ball, stuff like that. Um, some other little nozzles here that can feel like rafts or to, like those air mattresses. So that's pretty handy. So on this side, you have all your little accessories. So you have your jump starter, so that's going to plug into the unit. Then you have a USB-C charging cable, as well as you have the, uh, the air compressor hose. So very cool. And then the air compressor comes over here on its side. So I mean, that's a pretty, pretty large unit. So that's good because you're going to need, you know, some voltage to jumpstart your car as well as be able to run like an the air compressor. So that's pretty cool. So this top part right here is where you attach the compressor hose. So that basically would go on and that twist on. I'll show you how to do that a little bit more. How to use the compressor when we go into my my shop. So we'll kind of like twist that twist that on. And be careful because after you start running this, this area will get a little bit on the hot side. So definitely be aware of that. So you have 18 watt output. So you can actually use this as a power bank too. So you can like charge your cell phone, your laptop, you know, on the go. Uh, this is your input to basically charge up the power. This is where your light is. This on this side is your engine start. So basically you open this little orange trap door. And then this is where you would put your battery cables. And they are positioned in a way that it only goes in one way. And then it will basically tell you that that is plugged in and that is kind of like ready to go. So, we'll take that out for now until we're ready to, to jump start the vehicle. And then, and here is the user manual. So let's go through this. So it's basically going to kind of go over all the features, everything that it does. Okay, and let's charge it before we actually use it for the first time. So that's a charge cable. And plug it into like. You know, cell phone charger, or if you have these like fancy U USB charging cords, you can use that. And then the charge is up here. So let's plug that in. And then it'll come on, and let's see how much charge it has in it as it turns on. So it's pretty low. So we're going to let this charge overnight, and then we'll come back and we'll see what it does. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're on the shop side, and I actually have a cart up in the air. Just put some tires on, and I got to top off the air. So this works pretty easy. So what you do is you hit the power button, hold it in for a couple seconds, and you'll get that bar that lights up. Then you hit the M button here, and then that should default the car, but you can scroll through, and you have your car logo, motorbike, bicycle tire, and then like your sports like basketballs, football, stuff like that. So let's go back to the default car, and then we're going to set this to 39, because that's the tire pressure that I want. And we're going to hook up the, the chuck, so it makes a nice good connection, and then we're going to hit the power button. So it's reading 34, so let's see how long it takes to go up to uh, 39.
Okay, so there you have 39. So we'll take the, the air chuck off and make sure you put your valve stem covers on. You don't want to get like any weather in them and have them rust out on you. But anyway, so let's uh, let's go up. I actually have to jump start this car too. So this is going to come like in like super handy. So uh, stay tuned for that. Let me bring the car down and we'll get to the, uh, the battery compartment. But so far, pretty awesome. Okay, so to jump the battery, you basically open this compartment that's on the side, and then you have kind of like an alignment thing on there. So it's pretty easy to see. You got one round and one kind of like square peg hole thing. So you turn that on, and that's gonna, hold the button there. So it's on, it's gonna give you a green light, meaning it's ready to charge. So what you wanna do is you wanna attach the red side to the red side and the black to the black side and then I'll basically tell you that it's good to go so we're going to start the car So that charged it up nice and quick, jumped it nice and easy, and other than that, just remove that when you're done, put that in, and you're good uh, to go. Brian from Garage Hall, what a great uh, battery pack and air compressor system. Be safe out there.